Hello everyone, Rice Time 911 here, and today in this Farming Simulator 2017, or really any version of Farming Simulator modding tutorial, we're going to learn how to add the i3D exporter plugin to Blender. So, if that's something you want to do, then stay tuned. So, what does this export plugin do? Well, for starters, this plugin will allow you to export 3D models from Blender in i3d format now as you can see i don't have i3d format in here right now i can't export i3ds well thankfully giants created a uh, add-on so that we can do that and i'm going to show you how to get and how to install it so for starters you're going to want to go to their website gdn.giants.software.com and the link will be in the description below so that you can click on that and get there and then once you're there, you're going to either want to log in or create an account with them so that you can get to the download section. Now, I personally, I have an account, so I'll just log in. But if you need to register, you just, it's pretty easy. You put in your username and your address and all that. And it's pretty intuitive. You'll know how to. But for now, I'm just going to log in. Now you may notice that when you create an account with this website, Giants Developer Network, well, you don't have to provide the password. Well, that's because your password will be sent to you via your email address. So make sure that when you sign up, you use an email address you have access to. Okay, either way, once you're logged in, go to the download section, find Blender exporter plugins and there's version 7.0.0 that's the latest one as of now so then just go ahead and download that and actually you're just going to want to close Blender if you have it open and then just run the exe and tell it yes allow it to make changes and then it should come up with your Blender version I think but either way, just click install. And I had it installed, but not activated. So you probably want to get this window, but just click install and it'll install for you. And it'll tell you this. And I'll show you how you can find that. So just go ahead and click OK. Now we're going to open Blender again. OK, so now we're in Blender again. So what we're going to do is go to File, User Preferences add-ons and then game engine under categories then what you're going to want to do is enable the add-on see the little checkbox you'll check that and you'll see it's called game engine giants i3d export tools and it basically ju does just that it allows you to export to i3d from blender then you're going to go save user settings close this window then you can go File Export and you'll see Giants i3D is something you can export from. So to do that, you just go Export, you select your model, go File, Export, Giants i3D, find where you want to save it, say I want to put it in this folder, and you can export it, you can name it, press Export, and then, then you can find the i3D file that it made for you with your model and usually it'll work but sometimes it won't usually this will be due to problems with the geometry sometimes with sketchup models or models that are not modeled properly sometimes there will be a little error that pops up when you're trying to export but generally the export function does work with models that are made correctly all right but anyways that's just basically how to install it that's what this tutorial is for and hopefully this tutorial has shown you how to properly install it. And if it did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe and check out my other tutorial videos, which I do have quite a few of, and maybe you'll find them helpful. All right. So that'll be it for this video, and I hope to see you in the next. Bye.